look at a nice quick number theory problem. So our goal is to find all natural numbers m and n such that 2 to the m plus 4 to the n plus 5 is a perfect square. And we're going to start by reducing modulo 8. Why mod 8? Well, that's because if n is bigger than or equal to 2 and m is bigger than or equal to 3, these two guys reduce to 0 mod 8. So let's point that out. So if, like I said, m is bigger than or equal to 3, then 2 to the m is a multiple of 8. And if n is bigger than or equal to 2, then 4 to the n is a multiple of 8. So we have our object, 2 to the m plus 4 to the n plus 5, will be congruent to 5 mod 8. But 5 is not a square mod 8. You can calculate that just by squaring everything mod 8 and see that it's impossible to achieve the number 5. Well, so that tells us that the only possibilities for m are 1 and 2, so m equals 1 or 2, and the only possibilities for n are just 1, so n equals 1. So maybe let's put an or here, because just because m is 1 or 2, that doesn't mean that n can only be 1. That's because this trick here relied on both of these reducing. Okay, so now let's look at each of these cases on their own. So let's look at the case when m is equal to 1. So let's notice if m is equal to 1, we have 4 to the n plus 7 must be a perfect square. I'll call it a squared. That's because we have 2 plus 5 is 7. But now we're going to reduce this mod 3, and we'll reduce this mod 3 because this is 1 mod 3 and this is also 1 mod 3, telling us that we have a squared is 1 plus 1 or 2 modulo 3. But just like over here where we use the fact that 5 is not a perfect square mod 8, we also know that 2 is not a perfect square mod 3. The only squares mod 3 are 0 and 1. So that means we do not get a solution in this case when m is equal to 1. So now let's move on to the case when m is equal to 2 and see what happens. So if m is equal to 2, we have 2 squared plus 5 is 9. So that means we have 4 to the n plus 9 is a perfect square like that. But let's notice that we can reduce this really quickly to 4 to the n is equal to a squared minus 9, which we can factor as a minus 3 times a plus 3. But now let's notice that 4 to the n is a power of 2. That means the right-hand side is also a power of 2. In particular, a minus 3 and a plus 3 are powers of 2. Furthermore, there are powers of 2 that differ by 6, but there are only two different powers of 2 that differ by 6, and that's the number 2 and the number 8. So that means a minus 3 is equal to 2, and a plus 3 is equal to 8. Like I said, those are the only two powers of 2 that differ by 6. We know they differ by 6 because a minus 3 to a plus 3. Okay, so now smushing this together, well actually we can only solve one of them if you'd like. We'll get that a is equal to 5, but now plugging that back in up here, we see that 4 to the n is 25 minus 9, so 4 to the n is 16, so that means that n is equal to 2. And that gives us our first solution of m equal 2 and n equal 2. Now let's move on to the other case when n is equal to 1. Okay, so let's see, if we have n is equal to 1, then we've got a very similar equation to this guy over here. But now it looks like 2 to the m plus 9 is equal to a squared instead of 4 to the n. But now we can play the same game. Notice this tells us that 2 to the m is equal to a minus 3 times a plus 3. 
But we have a very similar equation to this up here. A minus three and A plus three are powers of two again, which tells us that A equals five, which tells us that two to the M must be equal to 16 after doing our calculation, which means M equals four. And there's our last solution. So look, we've got two solutions. The solution two, two, and the solution four, one. And that's a good place to stop.